now we will discuss uh, base shifting in index number so what is meant by base shifting base shifting means changing the base of an index from one period to another without recompiling the entire series so recompiling means what without again preparing or without again constructing the entire series of an index number so we can just change the base we can just shift the base to the earlier so that uh, the references should be made very easily what are the reasons for shifting the base so these are the two reasons so one is if the previous base has become too old and is almost useless for purposes of comparison suppose the previous base is very old and it is uh, not possible to compare the current with this old uh, base period in that context we can uh, shift the base and the another one is if the comparison is to be made with another series of index numbers having different base so uh, suppose uh, for the sake of comparison also we need to shift the base and how to take how to shift the base what is the formula for shifting this base the formula for shifting the base is this so this is the formula new index number of any year equal to old index number of the year divided by index number of new base year multiplied by 100 so old old index number of the year divided by index number of the new base year and that should be multiplied by 100 so that will gives us the new index number of any year we will see so the example uh, that uh, how to we, how we can shift the base and uh, this is uh, very important in, in the case of index number why this is important because uh, because of these two reasons this uh, base shifting is very important so take this example so in this example uh, the uh, index number of prices uh, of rice taking 2001 as base now shift the base to 2010 so our original base is 2001 so this is my original base and now i want to shift this base to 2002 so how i can shift this base how i can shift this so uh, so take this what is given in this case so in this case we are given the index number with base 2001 so this is given so year is given at the same time we are given the index number with base 2001 so what the year is 2000 and the index is uh, 80 so for 2001 this is 100 for 2002 this is 125 for 2003 this is 180 and for 2004 this is 250 now i want to change this so 2001 base is 100 so that means this is my original base so this is uh, the original base that is the uh, the old base 2001 because this is taken as 100 value now i want to make 2002 as 100 because uh, i want to shift this base to 2002 how i can do this so this is very simple so see these are the formulas see this uh, table and by using this table you can shift easily the base how i can do this so for year 2000 the index uh, number is uh, 80 so this 80 should be divided by the new index of the new base so the new base is 2002 and the index number for this year is 125 so 80 should be divided by 125 and that is multiplied by 100 so that will gives us the value 64 so on the same line this 100 should be divided by this 100 should be divided by 125 and that is multiplied by 100 so that will gives us the value 80 so 125 divided by 125 multiply by 100 that is 100 so 180 should be divided by this value 125 and multiply by 100 so that will gives us 144 and finally how to get the value of this 2004 the index number new index number with base 2002 for the year 2004 so 250 should be divided by 125 so this 250 should be divided by this 125 and multiply by 100 
so that will gives us the value 200 so in this way we can shift the base in this way we can shift the base uh, to the new year so this is a uh, one way of getting uh, the new base index numbers now so what are the types of uh, uh, what are the types of uh, base here so there are two types of base here so one one is a fixed base here and the another one is a chain base here so what is fixed base here a particular year is taken as base year so the base remains the same and unchangeable throughout the series the index number for the base year would be 100 so what are the limitations of this uh, fixed base so cannot take into account any changes in price or quantity in any other year so that is one limitation and the another limitation is it fails to include new commodities gaining importance at a later date or exclude commodities losing significance in course of time so keeping these two limitations in mind so we now go and understand what is actually meant by chain base year so in chain base year so this is a uh, the, the chain base year and in chain base year an index number in which the value of any given period is related to the link relatives so link relatives means what value of its immediately preceding period as base so what are the steps of calculating this chain base index number these are the two steps which are very important first we have to calculate link relative so what is link relative of current year is nothing but price of current year divided by price of previous year multiplied by 100 and what is uh, the next step is to calculate the chain index so how to calculate chain index chain index is nothing but link relative of current year divided by chain index of previous year and that should be divided by 100 so if if you apply this formula so that will that will gives us uh, the chain index so i am highlighting this uh, uh, this chain index formula and uh, use this uh, formula use this formula as uh, the chain index in chain base we need to go for uh, these two steps first we have to calculate ring relative and then we have to go for the calculation of chain index i will take one example and uh, that will uh, show you and uh, you can easily understand how to calculate this chain index so take this example so from this uh, the following data calculate the index number using the chain index mirror so we are given year from 2011 to 2018 and these are the prices and uh, by using this year and prices i now uh, interested in calculating the chain index number so how to calculate this chain index number see what are given and uh, what to calculate so this is given year is given 2011 to 2018 the prices are also given 120 and this 170 first we need to calculate ring relative and then we have to calculate the chain index so how to calculate ring relative so ring relative for the first year is remains the same so that uh, it is taken as the same and on the same line the chain index is uh, for the first year remains the same now how to calculate uh, the ring relative for 2012 see uh, please understand how to calculate first the ring uh, link relatives for all the years and then we can understand how to calculate the chain indices for link relative for 2012 how to calculate this this 124 should be divided by this value 120 multiplied by 100 so that will gives us the value 103.33 so can you understand this how to calculate this 2013 so 130 should be divided by 124 multiplied by 100 so that is 1 so that means this year index should be divided by the previous year index multiplied by 100 uh, how to calculate this 2018 for 2018 the index is 170 this 170 should be divided by previous year index number so that is 164 and multiplied by 100 that will gives us the value 103.66 so can you understand this value li, ri, uh, link relative now please understand how to calculate the value of chain indexes so as uh, i told you that uh, for the first year the link relative value is taken as the chain index.